Hi, welcome back. We have Chris here, who has decided to take some time and hang out with me, and uh, we're going to just keep talking about nerdy shit, because oh, yeah. that's what we do here. Yes, it's exactly at what we do. Probably the, the most amount of nerds that I've seen at one time, in one place, doing awesome stuff. Tons. Tons. <laughs> Tons. So, before we do that, um, I'm going to do a quick shout out to some of our YouTube people who are hanging out on the chat and being awesome and doing a lot of cool things with us. So, B Weirs, Panda Dragon, Swords Dance, uh, Naven Diver123, Logan West, and Vance Cole. We love having you here. Love so you guys. keep it up, all right? It's it, I, I, And I think we said this earlier when I was doing my interview with Kelsey, but we actually are trending in the U.S. right now, and that's because you guys are tuning in and being awesome, all right? So, you know, we're just sitting here being pretty, but you guys are out there doing all the work, so. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Right. So, Chris, we've, we've already chatted once before, yes, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And um, we could probably actually put this out now. We're doing a kind of a cooperative thing between some of the season one and season two people. It's, a, it's an endeavor that's called Talking Nerd, mm -hmm. you know? And that's essentially an opportunity for all of us to come together because we have, there's a legacy starting here. Yeah. Yep. You know? And, um, you know, you guys are, are passing an, a really bright torch right now into the world. And do you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, so the season two cast came together and we thought, well, what's a centralized way for us to broadcast like what we're doing or like maybe our inside thoughts on the show um, during the, the airing of the, the television show? And so we came up with Talking Nerd and our Twitter handle is actually uh, Talking underscore Nerd. Um, and so we thought we'd invite the season one contestants on as well. And so we we've started pushing out podcasts that we've done to one another where intro cast int yeah, we're calling them intro cast um, yeah. where one of the season one nerds will interview a season two nerd mm -hmm. and it's just a way for us to talk more about ourselves than what they can actually fit into a 40 minute uh show right because i mean as and we've all went through this as well too it's very hard to take the amount of time that you're in nerdvana and be able to express everything that happened exactly. in there and there's so much that nobody ever sees but the good news is is that we're not going anywhere like we still exist we're still people, and there's an, always an opportunity to talk more about what's going on, you know? And I feel like that's a really honest, amazing thing that, that we're doing right now with Talking Nerd. Mm -hmm. So, you know? But not, not enough about that. I want to know, like, what Chris is all about. Yes. You're right? Finally. So you were hilarious during the live stream. What? Yeah, you were I don't you were rocking it. I don't remember any of this. <laughs> it was just a blur. It's just all I hate. So fast. It's so fast. <laughs> it's just things going by. Um but Chris, like uh, without going into it too much or going into what happens in the episode, okay. like tell me how you felt about the, the first time that you've been on national television. Um seeing my <laughs> seeing myself on national television was it was quite bizarre cuz you you hear your voice and it's in your head, and then you right. hear it being played back to you, and you're just like, right. "Who is this? That why is that voice coming out of my mouth? I right. don't, I have no idea." Get that man off the screen. Yeah, make him go away, please, right now. <laughs> it's it's horrible. Um, it wasn't as bad as I uh, anticipated it would be. Um, All right. Were you proud? Did you feel like moments of like, "Wow, I'm I can't believe I'm here," or "I can't believe that I got that this is happening right now"? You mean or, like while I was watching, or while I was actually there? While you were watching. Um. It's it's kind of a surreal experience. I'm not exactly sure what to feel at the moment. It, it's it's I think it's still sinking in right now that I was yeah. actually on TV right. for like the first time ever. I mean like yeah. in its full entirety because uh, it's been a long time waiting for this. And right. so I think that it, it's more of I'm I'm pleased at seeing what happened. Um, and I'm, I'm glad that I'm not like I'm like I am myself on the show, and I'm really happy about that. How the edit turned out, and Good. so. Uh, that's what I'm most excited about. Was uh, most proud about is, right. is that I am like represented as myself um, on the show, and I'm like really glad that I was able to right. not make an idiot of myself. And, and honestly, we have people. We have won the production company to really thank for to doing that, and mm. more importantly, Curtis and Bobby. Oh man, those guys you know? are amazing. And they they have. I can't even begin to tell you the viewers out there the amount of effort, time, respect, and energy that we have. We, that they have given us in order for us to feel comfortable to be ourselves mm -hmm. and put ourselves out there in ways that we never really would have ever done without them saying, you know what? Just be a nerd. Yeah. You know what? Chris, you can go and rant about anything you want on there. And it's you know? amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. You can rant about anything you want anything on there. It's you like want. anything. Seriously, yeah. sweet potatoes. Just ask Jack how much he loves sweet potatoes. You wouldn't think sweet potatoes were nerdy. 
until you talk to Jack, seriously. Now, now, um, I have a, I have a very kind of a general definition of nerd, yeah. but this is, and, and obviously this is a debate that goes on forever and ever and ever. Mm-hmm. But I truly believe that someone who is a nerd is someone who is passionate and overeducated about a subject okay. that they love. Okay. So would sweet potatoes obviously fit that case, right? Yes. Because yeah. <laughs> you know, so what? Like, like random fact about sweet potatoes. Oh no, no, sorry, I don't know anything about. Sweet oh, that's potatoes. Jack, right? That's Jack. That's I d- Jack. I know nothing. That, that, that about actually. Sweet isn't potatoes. too surprising now that I just getting to know him a little bit. He's like, that yes. is a man who probably yes. would just la- launch into the first thing and just just love it. Yes. So, um, so kind of what like you kind of you came off obviously as you're the structural engineer mm-hmm. of the of the crew, um, and I think I've heard you say that you know, and we all went through this little point too. You don't want to make comparisons, mm. you know, and you certainly don't want to compare yourself to other nerds. Yes. All right. Yes. Which you're in your and you're you're different than some of the other aerospace people who've obviously been in the show with mm-hmm. you. So, but 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 tell me like really what you felt like. What shone through you think the best as far as your skills and abilities and what if you could say if there's one shining star in your sky that you feel like best personifies you, what would that be? Uh, for the first episode or nah, just, just in general. general? Like you're I mean, come on. You I mean you're Chris. Tell me why so, Chris is freaking awesome. Because <laughs> <laughs> I because I see it. Gotcha. Um well, for me, it, it's more of, of uh, the analytical skills, and so I was really trying. Like the reason why I wanted to go on the show in the first place was to see if I could like withstand the barrage of like analytical challenges right. that came up. Because I saw the first season, and I was like really excited about what happened, and I was just like, I wonder if I can do that. And so that's what I that's what I wanted to get out of the show, and that's why I wanted to be on the show was right. to test those analytical skills. And, and you applied, right? You mm. went out for it. Yes, exactly. Uh, did you see season one? Yes, I did okay. see season one. Yes, I thought it was amazing. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, being here right that's now nice. talking to Ivan is is really amazing. Oh, that's weird. I mean, that's awesome. <laughs> and and it, and it coming from us too. Like I I can't even tell you the sense of pride mm-hmm. that I feel just meeting all of you guys and being about it. And and I'm seriously so impressed by all the amazing variety that you guys have brought to this to this thing. Mm-hmm. So I mean, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you know you. for coming here and everything that happens in this show is something that y- will be with you forever. Like it might. It might not be the defining moment of your life, mm-hmm. but you will absolutely remember it forever. And all of those um, wonderful arcs that you go through, mm-hmm. they'll all be there with you again. And all I, the best advice I can give you is just to hold on to it, appreciate it, and allow yourself to just look at yourself from a distance. Good, good. Yeah. And, be, and be willing to be like, you know what, that, that Chris, that was Chris then, you know? And, and I'm really happy for that. You know, but I'm also Chris now. Sweet. And, you know, I'm, I'm it, my, the old mantra that I always keep is just be a little more awesome than you were yesterday. This is this is amazing. Getting advice from Ivan <laughs> from King of the Nerds season one. This is insane. How many times do you get advice from Ivan from King of the Nerds? Mm. This is amazing. Well, right now. Well, you know what? It was a freaking pleasure. Chris, Thank you very much. you're awesome. So we're going to go back out to the party and hang out a little bit more. But before, I want to do some shout outs to some Twitter users that we have on here. We've got Bast Kitten, Dead Disco, It's Me underscore Tay D, Mandy, Nicole Quack, <laughs> Salomon 27. <laughs> and we've got one more nerd left to go. We're going to have Xander here up on board. And I personally can't wait because he's probably the most fabulous person dressed tonight. So flashy and fabulous. Flashy and fabulous. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs>